Let's take a look at some simple ways of managing your social media for campaigns. I'm going to show you a couple ways to do this. Uh, they're all very similar. They basically allow you to schedule tweets and Facebook posts and posts to Tumblr and other places like that. And they allow you to monitor things, monitor when people are talking about you or when people have retweeted you or have DM'd you, direct messaged you. The value of this is that if you have multiple accounts, you can look at them all in one place. It also makes it easy to track things. You don't have to log in all the time. You can get a quick look and see what people are saying about you and about your campaign. If you have a hashtag for something, you can create a search for that hashtag. We're looking right now at Hootsuite. It's one of the ones that's been around for quite a while. I'm using my Red Cup I'm using my Red Cup Agency login. So we're looking at the Red Cup Agency home feed for Twitter right here. Uh, here we're looking at a listing of all the times I've been mentioned. And here we're looking at all the times that my tweets have been retweeted and a few other things. The beauty of this is you can compose a message. just like that. And you can choose to send this message right now. You can choose to save the message as a template and bring it up a million times. So if you have a campaign you're doing and you want to send similar kind of messages but change them a little bit, you could save it as a template. You can attach images and files to it. And best of all, you can schedule it. You can decide that you need this message to go out on Sunday at 6 p.m. And later, you can change your mind and look at it differently in a, in a different way. If someone has mentioned you, say they've mentioned your campaign, you can quickly reply to that person. And of course, you can send this right now, or you could schedule it to go out at another time. This is really valuable when people are talking about you and you want to get back to them. Here you'll get a look at how your tweets are being retweeted so you get a sense of your impact. TweetDeck, owned by Twitter, very similar kind of interface here you can see. There are uh, the same kind of columns and the same kind of things that you get to see. Uh, you do get to see a little bit more in TweetDeck since it's owned by Twitter, like you get a sense of uh, uh, who's followed you. Uh, you can get a sense of um, who's favorited your stuff. And that will also help you monitor as things unfold. Here, for example, someone's followed me. It's nice to know. I may want to follow them back. Here, someone's favorited something that I tweeted. I may want to follow them back or retweet that. Uh, although it might drive you nuts to uh, have this updating all the time, you can slow that down and turn it off and make it simpler. TweetDeck is free. I am using something called Sprout Social, which I find to be the easiest to use. I am paying for this. Uh, it simplifies everything, as you can see. It doesn't get me crazy. I can put a lot of things in it, what's called a smart inbox and just see one column. And this turns up perfectly on my phone, on my iPad. It's all connected. So wherever I am and whatever I'm doing, I could monitor the feed, see who's talking about me, see who's recently followed me. If I like this person, I can easily follow them. I can even make myself a little note about them. You can look for things that are interesting in this discovery mode. Uh, lots of other of these platforms have this discovery mode. Uh, this will help you find people to follow and find people to connect with. Uh, for example, let's look at the smart search. And let's enter a keyword. We want to look for all people who are writing about crowdfunding. If you were doing a campaign about something, say toys or a movie, you could put a keyword expressive of 
your campaign find all the people who are writing about what you're crowdfunding about. And then you could go follow all these people quite easily. So if you just, this little plus sign gives you the follow or unfollow option for all of these people. Like, let's say I want to follow this person. Done. It's that easy. Dead simple, cheap, Twuffer. Twuffer only works in your browser. You have to s authorize it through Twitter. And all this is, is a scheduler for Twitter. It's very easy. You just type in what you want to tweet. So I'm asking people to check that out. I would like this to go out on the 17th at 10 a.m. If you click on this little bar here, it'll give you a listing of your scheduled tweets and you'll be able to just check them before they go out. This is the the dirt simple way of doing it. It's free. Uh, you you can't look at a whole bunch of stuff, but you can certainly schedule your Twitter feed. Uh, the other platforms, the more sophisticated ones like Hootsuite and Sprout Social, they allow you to schedule to Facebook too. I don't recommend scheduling to Facebook because Facebook is better off being personal and present. But the point being whatever these platforms you might want to choose you just have to go to one place perhaps 15 20 minutes in the morning or whenever you choose and schedule out the next few days media and if they also permit you to get a real a wonderful bird's eye view of what is going to come up so you can change and shuffle and adjust these platforms give you a really quick way of scheduling your social media and simplifying your life.